Until recently, I have had to take eight painkillers just to make movement bearable. There are a lot of people out there that have benefited from your machines who would probably have had to undergo expensive and painful operations, which thanks to TENS... I have now been using a TENS unit for a month, and after 11 years of constant nagging pain, I have found much relief in using the treatment. I am very impressed with your service and concern. Your On body clock TENS machine voice. is the best thing that's happened to me in years. At least I can walk and shop without pain and have regained my lost mobility. I was beginning to fear that a wheelchair would be my next step. Thank you Thank so you much, much for the excellent service I have received. I opened my TENS machine within 24 hours of ordering. Brilliant! I will spread the word. TENS. Drug-free pain relief. TENS stands for Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation. The treatment consists of passing mild electrical signals through electrodes which are affixed to the skin to the nerves beneath the skin. Drug-free pain relief such as TENS enables the patient to be in control of their own care and empowers them which from a therapeutic level is fundamental in ensuring a positive attitude towards their own care and possible recovery. A great benefit of TENS is obviously giving the patient control. It's something they can use when they feel they need to they may be able to go for a number of weeks without using it, but then it's there in the cupboard, they can get it out and use it again if their symptoms return. Electrical stimulation for pain relief is in fact many thousands of years old. It was used originally in ancient Egypt, where electric fish were the source of electricity. It was also used in ancient Rome and in Africa as late as the 19th century. But in Europe, with the development of technology in the 18th and 19th centuries, people began to turn more to electrotherapy because it was more easily accessible. There are two main ways in which it works. The first way is by a mechanism called the gate control theory of pain. The second is to do with a different frequency of stimulation and is to do with what's called acupuncture-like TENS. With the gate control theory of TENS, the idea is that the pain signal travels quite slowly towards the spine through narrow nerves and the pain control signal from the TENS machine travels through wider nerves, it can travel more quickly to the spine so it gets there first and it has the opportunity to shut the gate against pain within the spinal cord. The second way that TENS works involves pathways travelling up the spinal cord to the brain where pain relieving chemicals such as beta endorphin are released. The optimal settings for TENS are as follows. For gait control theory, the pulse rate should be 80 to 120 pulses per second and the pulse width or duration 80 to 100 microseconds. For acupuncture-like TENS, the pulse rate should be 2 to 5 pulses per second and the pulse width or duration 180 to 200 microseconds or more. All the body clock machines are designed to be patient-friendly so they're all easy to use. They also have lots of functions on them that are beneficial for um, the patient when using it for comfortability and ease of use. Um, but if we look at our common machine, which is the first choice plus, um, it has the intensity dials on the top so that they can treat two pain areas at one time. And it also has the pulse rate and pulse width adjustments for the sharpness and the smoothness of the pulse and to adjust how fast and slow the pulses are. Also with patients that have got arthritis in their hands, for example, which is quite a common condition, they can adjust it with the palm of their hand. Over a period of 30 years, I have suffered from arthritis, sciatica and pain from weak muscles. I have regularly sought the advice of my local GP, who on occasions has referred me to um, hospital to see consultants, but they have never been able to advise anything to actually help the problem itself. They have only ever advised me to take painkillers. Drug-free pain relief is obviously of great benefit, particularly to patients who have concerns about taking long-term medication where there may be side effects such as drowsiness or stomach irritation and things like that. So it's a really valuable approach to treatment. I think it's very important to have an alternative to drugs for pain relief. Drugs often have quite strong side effects and if someone's having a whole cocktail of drugs, sometimes the side effects are quite unpredictable. So it's very helpful to have a method which can actually help reduce the amount of drugs you need to take, such as TENS, for instance. A few years ago, a colleague of mine at work uh, was talking about body clock TENS 
and I listened and I became very interested. So I popped into their shop in South Woodford, um, got some more advice and bought one of their machines and I have found it very helpful. You have no side effects, um, it gives you a better quality of life therefore and the advantage is when you do feel a pain coming on you can get your hands on this body clock little machine and even if you're going to work or going to the theatre you can put it on because it can't be seen and it helps the pain, it alleviates pain. There are no known side effects to TENS, however there are a few contraindications and precautions. Cardiac conditions can be a contraindication and pregnancy before 37 weeks. Other areas where I would get people to be cautious are if they're epileptic or there are certain electrode positions that shouldn't be used, but this is always covered in literature that's given out with TENS machines or by a physiotherapist. TENS, unlike drugs, has very few side effects. Uh, the most common side effect, and it's, it's not actually that common, is for there to be some irritation on the skin underneath where the electrodes are positioned. But that generally occurs only if the electrodes are positioned in exactly the same place for quite some time. If the position is moved, it doesn't occur very much. It's important to position the electrodes correctly. They can either be directly over the pain or over the nerves leading from the painful area towards the spine or over acupuncture points. I also feel that it's important to note this is not an either-or situation. Often TENS machines can be used alongside reduced amounts of the prescribed medication, thereby reducing the severity of the side effects and again putting the patient in control of their own care. Custard of an evening. See? You understand that? Yeah, I can understand that. However, it's important to remember that TENS can alleviate pain. It's not necessarily going to cure a problem. And it's always important to have the cause of your pain diagnosed. TENS can be used for lots and lots and lots of conditions. Commonly it's used for arthritis and sciatica, back pain, um, whiplash injuries, sports injuries. In Gordon Gadsby's excellent little book, An Easy Guide to TENS for Pain Relief, he has a list of conditions for, for which TENS is useful. These include arthritis, rheumatoid and osteo, back pain, neck pain, osteoporosis, sciatica, acute sprains and strains, tendon problems, migraine and headaches, and so on. How long can the patient use a TENS machine for? There's no set time on using a TENS machine because it's drug free, so they can use it for as many hours as they wish to. However, if they are using it continuously for a number of hours, what we recommend they do is the electro pads that we place on their skin, if they can just move those slightly so that it doesn't cause irritation on the skin from continuous stimulation, but there's no time limit on them using it at all. I have recommended TENS machine to other people and people have found it very, very helpful. For more information about TENS, please call our information hotline on 0845 230 9737 or visit our website 